Look, fellas, if you've ever been told that you can't build muscle and burn fat at the same time, you've been lied to. While it's not easy, and it's definitely not straightforward or simple, I can guarantee if you're not doing any of these seven tips that I'm about to share with you, you will have less muscle and more body fat, which I'm guessing is probably not what you want, otherwise you won't have clicked on this video, right? Um, these tips actually took me from looking like this to looking like this, and they can do the same for you, uh, as long as you do, make sure you do the last two because they're the most important. All right guys, so let's dive in. Number one is protein. Now, in case you've been living under a rock, we, ab we absolutely need to be eating protein. And I'm surprised that so many people still get this wrong. So many people are not eating, number one, enough protein, and number two, enough high quality protein, okay? So protein is the building blocks for the muscle. If you're building a house, you need bricks to build the house. If you don't have enough bricks, the house doesn't get built. And protein's the same way. If you're not consuming enough protein, your body's not gonna have the building blocks to be able to build the muscle in the first place, okay? Also, protein has a higher thermic effect compared to fats or carbs. So if you are gonna overeat a macronutrient, you're better off overeating protein because it's much harder for the body to store protein calories as body fat compared to fats or carbs. So it actually has uh, you know, some fat loss benefits as well, which not a lot of people know about. Um, so for the body to turn protein into fat, it has to go for a process called lipogenesis and to convert protein to carbs, it's called gluconeogenesis. Now you don't need to understand these terms, you just need to understand that for protein to be turned to fat in the body, it's much harder and it actually burns calories to do that, okay? So if you are gonna overeat a macronutrient, overeat your protein, okay? Just make sure you're getting enough protein. How much is enough protein? Well, I like to go for one gram per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds, that's 200 grams of protein you need every single day, okay? What I would also do is spread your meals out. Uh, three or four meals a day will be ideal because every single time you eat protein, uh, you're gonna stimulate protein synthesis so uh, you want to do this multiple times a day rather than just having one big meal like I've done in the past, all right? And uh, this is going to piss off some vegans and vegetarians, but uh, the, the type of protein that you consume is going to make a big difference as well. And the most bioavailable sources of protein are animal proteins, you know, from your meat and your eggs, etc. Now, you don't have to do this. You can do whatever diet you please and I've tried vegan in the past I've tried vegetarian I've tried almost every single diet guys and I'm telling you right now if you want the best results you need to be getting your protein from animal sources because it's more bioavailable a gram of protein from an almond and a gram of protein from a steak are not equal okay the steak is far more bioavailable so if you want the best results eat get your protein from animal sources okay now eating protein is essential but I can guarantee if you're not doing this next step um, your body's not just not going to be able to use the protein effectively, okay? So you need to be making sure that you're eating real foods, guys, non-processed foods, because all this processed crap, like most people, particularly in the West, most of the stuff you find in the supermarkets is just processed. It's just junk food. It's not real food. It's fake foods. You want to be making sure you're eating real foods because your digestion is going to be in a better state so you can digest and assimilate the nutrients and the proteins to build muscle and burn fat, etc., etc. All right, so you are what you eat and the quality of your food matters. And a saying that I like to talk about quite a lot is garbage in, garbage out. So if you put garbage into your body, guys, you're gonna get garbage out, you're gonna get poor results. If you put high quality ingredients into your body, well, you're gonna get high quality results. All right, so uh, what the tips that I've got for you here is to eat single food, single food ingredients, like fresh ingredients. Did it walk on the ground? Did it grow in the ground? Did it fly in the air or did it swim in the sea? Okay, if it did, eat it. If it's got, comes with a label, it says healthy on it, but it's got like 15 different ingredients that with names you can't even pronounce, probably not a good idea to eat it, guys, all right? So that's number two, is making sure that you are eating real foods. Now that we have your nutrition down, uh, the next two steps are gonna actually give your body a reason to build muscle and burn fat in the first place. Because if you're not doing these, well, your body's just not really gonna have a reason to, 
to change its current state of where you're at right now. So the first one is to lift weights, okay? Lift weights in hypertrophy training is the best way, the best form of exercise to build muscle. There's a reason bodybuilders are lifting weights, okay? Because that's the most effective way. If there was another way which was more effective to build muscle, they would be doing it, okay? So lifting weights, keep this nice and simple for you guys. Three or four times a week is plenty. Uh, your sessions should be no longer than one hour. Uh, make sure you follow the structured training program. If you don't have a structured training program in place, you can send me a DM on Instagram X. You can sign up for my course. Uh, there's got lots of different plans in there and stuff like that. Um, your sessions should be no more than one hour. Guys, you can do absolutely everything you need to do within one hour. Uh, with regards to sets and reps, uh, I would, if you're, you want to be in a range of between eight to 15, okay? So if you, if you do a set and you lift more than 15, you want to put the weight heavier. If you do a set and you lift less than eight reps, you want to put the weight lighter, okay? Three sets per exercise, three or four exercises per muscle group, job done. Okay, the next step is cardio. Now, cardio doesn't just help uh, burn fat like most people does. It will help build muscle as well if you're doing these things here, okay? So personally, I like to say do cardio three times per week. Uh, again, maximum one hour. For me, I struggle to do cardio like at the gym, you know, just going on the bike, on the treadmill. It's boring. Honestly, I can't motivate myself to do that. So what I do instead is I do fitness classes. At the moment, I've just started doing high rocks. It's so much fun. If you can find high quality fitness classes in your area, definitely go and do them. Especially if you're beginner or you struggle with motivation, just, just, just go there, try some classes, find some good ones, and I promise you, you'll do a lot more work than you otherwise would have done on your own, okay? Especially for the cardio, it's really, really good. Uh, so you can do classes, you can do uh, CrossFit, it's another popular one, high intensity interval training, or sport. Uh, in, in, uh, here in Bali, paddle is super popular. Everyone's talking about paddle, paddle this, paddle that. I, I'm gonna be honest, it sounds like a, a little bit, uh, what's the right word? Doesn't sound like my kind of thing, let's put it that way, but a lot of people enjoy paddle. If there's a sport that you really like and you're moving around a lot, do that. You know, the most important thing is you find something you enjoy because if you enjoy, you're gonna to stick to it for the long term and that's where you're gonna get the most results from. And another point on this is walking. I also do walking on top of the cardio that I'm doing uh, because this helps digestion, it helps get steps in. I do it. Uh, I do two beach walks a day usually, once in the morning uh, and once around sunset time. And this is great for health because I'm grounded, I've got my feet barefoot on the beach, I've got sunlight coming into my eyes, it's great for my sleep, it's great for my circadian rhythm. Uh, you can also do walking after meals, like a 10 minute walk after a meal is going to aid digestion. And the better your digestion is, the more likely you are to build muscle and the easier it's going to be for you to burn fat. All right, guys, and another point on this, which I talk about in my course, is you want to microdose exercise as much as possible. A lot of people just have like a one hour block in their day where this is the time that they exercise and the rest of the time, they're not doing anything. They're sat in the car, they're sat at the desk, they're just not doing any exercise. Uh, what I like to do, is microdose the exercise as much as possible. You know, when I'm on calls, I'll just walk around. Uh, you know, uh, I will just, um, when I was younger, I used to do uh, sit-ups and press-ups like in between TV commercials and stuff like that. I don't really watch TV anymore, so that's not an option. Uh, when I was waiting for my food to cook in the kitchen, uh, I used to have like a, a, like a corner, corner counter in the kitchen. I used to do dips <laughs> on the kitchen that if you get creative, whenever you, you've got a little weight, just do some, just do some exercise, do some press ups, do some squats just randomly whilst you're, whilst you're waiting for someone or, or, or something like that. If you can squeeze in little bits of exercise throughout the day, at the end of the day, you're gonna have a much higher total calorie expenditure, which is gonna help you stay leaner and have a more muscular aesthetic physique, which I'm presuming that's what you want, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video, okay? So we've got your training down, we've got your nutrition down, but if you're not following this next tip, all this hard work and effort that you put into your training and nutrition is just gonna be redundant, okay? And what am I talking about? I'm talking about stress. In the, in the Western world, we are stressed 24-7, 365, on our phones, blasted with social media, dopamine receptors fried, rushing from a nine to five, driving back. It's just a stressful, stressful environment. 
all right guys uh, it's, it's very hard for me to kind of relate to that because now i live in bali and things are a lot slower paced here although the traffic is pretty bad but that's another topic for another video chronic stress 24 7 will prevent you from building muscle and you'll also hold more fat because the higher your cortisol levels are the more your body wants to hold on to the fat because you know when we lived in caves going back years and years ago thousands of years ago we would have only ever been in a very stressful situation very acutely maybe we're getting chased by a tiger or a predator or something like that it wouldn't have lasted for very long and we would have need needed the extra stress hormones to help us survive in that situation but right now we're in a situation where we're constantly stressed we're constantly in a sympathetic state 24 7 and it's really not a good way to live not only is it going to affect your physique but it's also going to affect your mental performance your productivity how you think uh, the, the way you act the decisions that you make it affects everything guys okay so what can we do for stress management uh, one of the best things to do is breath work actually the fastest way to change your state right now is breath work now you can do um what's it called the the simple uh, what is it called you can do uh, box breaths okay which is where you breathe in for four seconds and you hold for four seconds then you breathe out for four seconds then you hold for four seconds and then you breathe in again that's the uh box breaths okay that is it's like four 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 or you can do five 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 whatever uh, box breaths is very good to you know get the body in a more relaxed state you can do uh Andrew Huberman talks about the physiological sigh where it's a double inhale through your nose and out through your mouth okay that can help calm your nervous system uh, also another big one is meditation meditation is such a powerful tool not only for stress but also for productivity and for focus and overall self-awareness I would highly recommend everyone meditate 10 minutes a day is all you need uh, and that is going to drastically improve your ability to be more self-aware to not react to events around you uh, and to just have lower overall general stress levels all right so the importance of stress cannot be understated it's absolutely critical that you pay attention to your chronic st stress levels as much as possible now the last two tips are the most important tips because they're the foundation for everything else right okay if you're not doing the last two tips and you've got everything else perfect you're still going to struggle quite a lot okay and they're often overlooked by a lot of people so it's not only about building muscle and losing fat these are going to help improve every single aspect of your life and just help you operate as just a more effective human being okay so the next tip is hydration guys so many people get hydration wrong i see online everyone talking about oh just drink three liters of water a day just drink more water more water more water wrong that is really bad advice if you drink more water okay your pee will go clear and that is not good i used to think that was a good thing it's not a good thing because what you're doing is you're peeing out electrolytes you're peeing out minerals if you sweat and you lick your sweat it's going to be salty i'm not recommending you drink your pee but i imagine if you were to drink your pee never tried it not my thing not my kink but if if, if you want to do it be my guest i guarantee it will be salty okay so by drinking just more water alone you're actually dehydrating yourself so if your pee is clear you want to make sure you're having more minerals more salt and the best way to get more minerals and electrolytes into your body is through a high quality sea salt a sea salt or a himalayan salt not a refined salt not one that's been bleached and it's just left with sodium chloride and none of the other trace minerals you want a natural uh, sea salt or himalayan salt full of lots of minerals i add that to my water in the morning when i get up first thing in the morning after i weighed myself i come downstairs i have like a 300 milliliters of water and i put half a teaspoon of salt in there just mix it up spark in the water drink it it's beautiful that is going to help you stay hydrated and why this is so important guys is the human body is 60 percent water 60 to 70 percent water so you right now are more water than anything else and some people don't even drink water okay so first of all you need to make sure you're drinking water and second of all you want to make sure that that water is high quality do not be drinking tap water guys tap water is killing your gains i've spoken about this on a previous video but tap water is not good for you at all if you were to look at the inside of a of a of a pipe which brings tap water to your house i guarantee you would not be drinking that tap water for me personally what i like to do is i only drink water out of glass bottles unless it's an absolute emergency like at an airport or something like that 
I'm only drinking water out of glass. I've done this for so long now that when I drink water, which has been stored in a plastic bottle, even, you know, like Evian or a good brand or something like that, I can taste the plastic in the water. Okay. So for that reason alone, I just don't want to drink water that tastes like plastic anymore. Okay. So I only drink out of glass. If you have the means and you're able to do that, I would highly recommend it. But if not, definitely start adding a high quality sea salt to your water, salt your meals, and just make sure you're uh, hydrated. All right. Now, finally, the last tip, look, this is the most important. If you're not doing this, you will have far less muscle, you'll have a lot more body fat, and every single aspect of your life will just be harder. It will just feel like an uphill battle. It'll just be a struggle. And that is sleep, guys. Sleep is number one most important thing. If you just wanna improve your life and you're sleeping four hours a night, and if you go from four hours to sleeping like seven or eight hours, and it's high quality, it's not just about sleeping longer, it's also about the quality, right? If you just change that variable alone, you will feel like a new person. You will feel completely different. If you could put the benefits of sleep into a pill and sell it, you would be a billionaire. You know, sleep is absolutely essential. I don't want to put you to sleep talking about sleep. Hopefully you get the point. But everything is harder when you've got a lack of quality sleep. So what can you do to optimize sleep well you can get an aura ring like i've got or a whoop band or there's an ultra human ring you can get a sleep tracker that's going to help somewhat and give you some data and some feedback so you know if you have a late meal or you know if you have a glass of wine before bed you know how that affects but these cost money there's a lot of things you can do which cost nothing to optimize your sleep uh, first one being make sure you get up at the same time every single day seven days a week okay you don't want to be creating social social jet lag where you know you get up during the week at a certain time and then at the weekend you go to bed later and wake up later that's not good for your circadian rhythm at all guys so you want to make sure you're getting up at the same time every single day uh, you want to make sure you're avoiding blue light and your screens at night if you are if you do need to go on your screens after sundown put blue light blocking glasses on okay i've got some uh, they're not very sexy but i don't care <laughs> uh, they do the job okay so get some blue light blocking glasses uh, obviously that's not free but you can just avoid blue light at night uh, in the morning when you get up get outside get some sunlight into your eyes that's going to help tell your body and your brain that the day is starting and we need to produce the necessary hormones to get the the day going all right what else can you do uh, have a shower before bed sleep hygiene that that'll help you uh, improve your sleep a lot as well and um have a nice cool dark room as well if you do all those things uh you will you, your sleep will be a lot better all right guys and this is this is it and uh, you know a lot of these some of these tips here most of these tips they're not sexy stuff okay i know it's not the stuff you wanted to hear i know you wanted to just hear oh james just take this pill just take this supplement just do this one trick that no one knows about and you're going to be absolutely fine you're going to be like jacked out your eyeballs Sorry, but it doesn't work like that. You know, it comes down to the Pareto principle. If you're not familiar with the Pareto principle, it's the 80-20 rule, which states that 20% of your efforts are gonna be responsible for 80% of your results. So a lot of people make the mistake of looking for the supplement, looking for the quick hack, looking for this thing, which makes like 0.1% difference instead of focusing on the basics and the fundamentals. And anyone who is a master, not just at like health or fitness, but also in business or in life or whatever, they've just mastered the fundamentals, guys. So that's, that's what this video is about, is mastering the fundamentals for you to be able to build muscle and burn fat. All right, guys, um, and yeah, that's, that's kind of that's it i know i know it's it's it uh what's the right word i'm looking for i know it's it doesn't sound sexy but this is where you're going to get the most results now if you need some help with your training and nutrition you want to get in the best shape of your life not only physically but also mentally so you've got the confidence you can go and dominate all of the aspects of your life I do coaching, uh, you can message me on Instagram or X. I've also got a course and community launching as well. All the links are in the description. Other than that guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.